Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I'm going to show you tonight how to draw something like this using quite a few tools. The main thing you need to consider when you're drawing it is start with a six sided polygon and hit P and put it in the center of the page. Then you can turn it into a three sided and that's in the center of the page. Even though Corel thinks the center is right there of that X, the center of this rotation is really right there. I am going to go to Windows and Dockers and Corners, and I am going to turn the corners on a half inch radius. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Effects and Contour. You pretty much, when you do this, you need to contour to the outside. We're going to contour the inside first of all, and look what you get. Even with rounded corners, you get that. So when you're doing this, go to the outside and you get that. Now we need to go to object and break the contour part. I'm going to draw a rectangle and I'm going to rotate it 60 degrees. And then I'm going to put it anywhere, kind of like right in there. Now I'm going to control D and duplicate it. You don't have to have them perfect, but if you're going to do it, you might as well do it. And I'm going to rotate it to zero degree, well, to 120 degrees. No, what am I doing wrong? You know, sometimes when you get uh, lost, control D, make a duplicate, turn, whoop, move the center rotation of there and just rotate it by hand and, and get it close and go, okay, 300 degrees. Control D and make another one. Now what we're going to do, let's move this one out of the way. We're going to smart fill those shapes in. I'm actually going to use that same orange and I'm going to fill that in. I'm going to nudge it over, over, over. So now I have that shape. Now what we need to do is group this together. Control G or just hit group. Let me move this out of the way. And because we nudged, I'm still going to nudge it in the center of the page, which really doesn't matter anymore. We've done all that we need, need to do. But since we have a fill color, we're going to use the extrude tool. And you know what? I'm going to do this too. I'm going to go to object and perspective and add a perspective to kind of make it look like it's coming in at an angle. You could actually go a little bit more. Then we're going to grab the extrude tool. And we're just going to move it quite a bit up. Now, go to object and break the extrude group apart. Try to get the original one and nudge it out of the way. So this is, your, this is what's left over. Let me get rid of the indexing line. And we're going to go left click, right click. Now, there's some lines in here we do not need. And there's some lines that we do need. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to take my virtual segment delete key. And I don't want that. I want that all to be one piece. I want this all to be one piece. I want this to be all one piece. Um, I really don't. I went a little bit further than I did before. So I'm going to just go like right there. Um, yeah, this is going to work perfectly. So I'm going to take away that line. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to smart fill these things and I'm going to use that a gray. And let me move my other, whoop. let me move my orange one out of the way one more time. And I'm going to take the smart fill tool. I'm going to fill that in and nudge it over, fill that in, nudge it over, that in, that in, that in, that in, that in, that in and that in. Now, when we bring this back, and if we add lines by right clicking and then move this back, that's what it's going to look like. Now, I've got a mistake there. So I'm going to take the orange, and you can see I've got it selected. I'm going to go to object order front of page so that bend is on the front of the page. Now, I actually want to, uh, these should be. If I did it right, it should be individual pieces. And they are. And I'm going to just use the interactive fill tool. And I'm going to add a little darkness. Darkness, Doug. That's too much. 
I'm going to grab that one. I'm going to grab a little darkness. Is that, and this is where you're just kind of think about things. I'm going to grab this one, put a little darkness up top. Way too much, so you can expand that out. This one's the same thing. Put a little, and you could go any direction. You know, I'm not saying I'm doing it the, the best way. Uh, I'm just giving you some ideas of the way I think it might, whoop, think I might like it or the way it looks. We're going to go up in here and give it some darkness into that corner. Too much. Go a little bit further out. Let's go uh, with this one and put a little darkness. And I could go the other direction. And let's do one more and pull. Okay, you see what happened? I had that selected. I need to select this one now. Even though you'll do it sometimes, it'll think you're still on the last one. I'm going to call that good enough. And then if we bring in our black box, I like my first one a little bit better. I think I, I went too far with the perspective tool. But you get the idea. Um, I wish I hadn't have gone quite so far. I thought it would look cooler, but it didn't. But it looks like, I don't know what it looks like. Kind of reminds me of a recycling logo with cutout parts. Anyway, I hope that gave you a few ideas and thank you for watching.